Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. The Oculus Link has just dropped and I am over the moon. I'm so ecstatic that I have to keep this on so I can stay within PC VR. This is just a setup video. I'm just going to show you how to set it up. I will be then giving my thoughts on the entire experience as I've played with it a lot more so I can look at all the nooks and crannies of this beta. We've been waiting for this for so long and it is finally here. So I thought I had to share it with you guys on how to set it up because it is super easy and so you can get started on playing some PC VR with your quest. So let's get started. So first of all you want to grab your oculus quest and a usb 3.0 it doesn't have to be usb c it just has to be above 3.0 plug one end into your oculus quest and the other into the computer the wire you get with the oculus quest at default is not 3.0 so you are going to have to look for a different cable if you're someone that has an elgato perhaps you can use that wire so once you've plugged it into the computer, you want to download the Oculus app. If you don't have it, simply go to the website and download it. Just give it a Google. If you do have it, just open it up. You want to select the Oculus Quest and it will take you to the setup Oculus Link beta page. It will then ask you to update the software and the drivers to enable this link. This can take a minute or two, so just sit tight. It will happen. What this is doing is it's emulating a Rift headset. So it's not being seen as an Oculus Quest. It's actually being seen as a Rift headset to the computer. The minimum specifications they want for you to use this thing is an i5 processor or a Ryzen 5 1500 or greater. They want 8 gigabytes of RAM and a USB 3.0 port. You also need to have Windows 10. If you have the NVIDIA Titan Z, that is not supported. The Titan X is. If you have a GTX 970, that is not supported. Or a 1060M, that is also not supported. Anything else and you will be perfectly fine. This is a beta, so the ones that aren't currently supported should be fixed by its official release. Once the drivers are installed, you'll be presented with a page to select your headset. You can have a Rift, a Rift S, or a Quest. Obviously, you want to select the Quest headset. Once you select the Quest headset, it will wait for you to connect to the computer. So if you're not using a USB 3.0 port, it will complain with a red X. You'll have to plug it into a 3.0 port or higher for it to get the green tick and move on to the next screen. Once the setup is complete, put on your Oculus Quest and accept the prompt inside the headset. Now simply start enjoying PC VR with your Quest. So as you can see here, we're inside the Quest Home. It's exactly the same as if you were wearing the Oculus Rift. You have all the random interactive items around the house, the nice warm fire, the outside area where you can look over the beautiful mountains. You also have the same menu as if you were on the Rift. It no longer acts as an Oculus Quest headset, so you will have to get used to the new setup. I just went around and had some fun just to see how all the interactions worked, and it all seemed pretty responsive and pretty normal and ran really great. Here you can see all the settings, it's all categorized by headset, guardian, the graphics that you want, some experimental stuff, some social stuff. There's plenty there for you to have a nice browse on and set up exactly the way that you would like it. Because there's a lot more here than the Oculus Quest. So let's check out some games. I started off with Robo Recall, let's see how that looked. And it does look pretty amazing. It does look really, really good. But for some reason, it wasn't letting me start a mission. This is obviously a beta, so there's gonna be a few hiccups, but this is a bit annoying because this is one of Oculus's big titles. And I wanted to see it in the Oculus Quest because it looks absolutely stunning. But unfortunately, it did not work. So let's move on to a different game. So let's choose Vader Immortal and start using the Dojo. Again, everything is really responsive. It looks really, really, crisp i am running on an rtx 2080 and the visuals look absolutely incredible i have to say it, the graphics inside the headset i don't feel like they looked as good as when i was using the rift s headset i feel like there is some sort of compression i feel like you can see it it's really really smooth though but it just seems like it wasn't as crisp it still looks absolutely incredible do not get me wrong but i just feel like the native headset it does actually look a little bit better but i'm gonna look into that more when i'm ready to do the review on the oculus link Let's try another game. I tried this. I have no idea what this is. Let's move on from that. I've got lots of cross-buy games from the Oculus Quest, so let's try Drop Dead and see how that looks. I love this game. I think it's brilliant. And there is a big difference playing this on the PC opposed to the Oculus Quest. The textures are a lot better. The environments are a lot more fuller. There's a lot more foliage. There's a lot more reflections. Like, look at the water there. It's moving and trickling absolutely incredibly. And the controls are really responsive. I had no issues whatsoever. No sort of delay. It shot where I was shooting, so the aim was perfectly fine. I'm just not that great at shooting. I think looking at this footage, you'd have no idea that this was streaming to a headset. 
So that's it, a nice little sneak peek how to set up the Oculus Link and start enjoying some amazing games. Stay tuned for the full review soon. So that's it from me. I hope that helped you work out how to get this set up because like I said, it is super easy and there's a bundle of amazing games for you to now try such as Stormlands, Asgard's Wrath. I need to buy them, but I didn't want to have to wait like a whole day for it to download because those games are huge. So without further ado, happy gaming guys. Good day.